People can't be vintage, right? Disturbing thoughts with Leanne. It wasn't that hard, was it? Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm gonna do a quick little foundation routine using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. I talked about this in my May favorites video. It's really good. And I already did my eye makeup clearly. I feel like it's so weird. I always do my face makeup before my eye makeup. And so when I do it backwards, I feel like I look crazy. I don't know, like a showgirl baby. Anyway, I'm really into this foundation, so I wanted to show you guys how I work with it. It's nothing too crazy or complicated or whatever, but it is like a full-on, I'm wearing makeup kind of look. I mean, look at my eyes. I gotta kind of bring them together. I'm gonna be using this, but I'm also gonna be using a whole bunch of other things, and I will list everything down below. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. First off, I'm using this little anti-dark circle Garnier rollerball thing. I know I said that all out of order. I used to use this thing, and then I quit using the thing, and then I started again. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but I have really puffy eyes, and every little bit helps, kind of, hopefully. Next up, I'm using my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, like the title of this video says, and I'm using it with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush, which I really like the coverage that gives. I've used it with the Beauty Blender, and I've used it with another brush. I like this one best, but I'm pretty partial to the foundation more than anything. I like the coverage. It doesn't feel too heavy on me. It stays on a long time. I do think it has kind of oil control properties. It's just magical. Maybe not 3-in-1 magical, but it's magical. And so is my Turby Twist. It already looks better with just one coat of foundation. Next up, I'm using this CoverGirl Olay kind of CC cream concoction. I don't know if this works either. It's pretty new to me, and I'm pretty unsure of it. I don't think it works any kind of miracles, but this is what it looks like when I'm using it. Next, I'm busting out my CoverGirl and Olay concealer. It's a stick concealer so it's really good for covering spots and stuff like that but I pretty much use it everywhere. I need it. I've got redness and I just blend it out with my finger because sometimes that's the super official way to do it in my world. Next up I'm using this e.l.f. setting powder and I've had it forever so it's running out and I'm having a hard time. I'm just using that mainly in the places where I use concealer and yeah. Next, I'm using this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural to add a little bit of coverage, especially around the nose and on the nose, and it helps set the foundation. Next, I am brightening up my under eye with my Well Rested by Bare Minerals. I've used this forever and ever, and I think something gross with my eye was happening. And next, I'm contouring, and I'm using this uh, just regular powder in a darker color and contouring in the normal places. I think I still need to do an updated contouring video someday that will happen. I promise. Next, I'm bronzing, bronzing, bronzing with my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. I love this stuff. It has a tiny bit of sparkle, but it's not like sparkle. It's just like a sheen. You can't even notice it. You can kind of notice it, but I like it. You know, it kind of blends out that contour. Next, I'm using my Benefit Blush Coralista. I love it. It has a sheen. It's gorgeous and amazing. I've had it forever, but I've also loved it forever. Well, I've kind of rediscovered it recently. No one's counting. Next, I'm highlighting with my favorite highlighter by The Balm. It's Mary Lou Manizer or Betty Lou, I don't remember. Next, my lips because my lips were looking pale. This is the Revlon's Kissable Balm Stain in Honey all-time favorite. Can't get over it. Taking a long time with it. It's really not that difficult, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm done. It looks good, right? Showgirl face all around. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. Okay, so that was it. I know it was kind of a lot of things. I like to use a lot of things. It's because I buy a lot of things, and it's because of YouTube. See, it's YouTube's fault. It, I think it looks a lot more balanced, though. Got my showgirl eyes, got my showgirl face, ready to do a show this was the show, I don't know. All the products will be listed down below, just like I said. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thumbs up if it was, and yeah. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. If there's another foundation I really need to try, like I'm totally missing out when I'm loving this one, let me know down below. Yep, I'm just asking you all the questions in my video. I guess I just do things a little bit differently. Anyway, I just love hearing from you guys, so you could also hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr or Facebook or whatever. It's Leanne Says Everywhere and I love hearing from you guys. All those links will be down below as well. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you already have subscribed, thank you. And yeah, I really need to go dry my hair before it dries in this crazy wad of a turby twist. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Come on, work with me. Man. Eh. I agree. I'm glad we're on the same page. I feel like a fancy vintage lady. Vintage? People can't be vintage, right? I'm gonna do absolutely everything I can do to keep us safe because I think like, you know, work, I've worked so hard on this channel to like build a trust and like a cool relationship with you guys even though it's kind of like, you know, whatever, it's the internet or whatever. But like, I talk to you guys, you guys talk to me, we talk back, it's cool. We've built something here and I'm not going to let it get ruined. So if I can go out of my way to 